What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendelle bring you once again another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. Do you have an Elephone U Pro? Um, is it just like this one that it won't even boot no matter what you press? Um, then you're in the right place because today I'm going to show you how to revive your fully dead telephone. This telephone doesn't even turn on. I'm guessing that if you're here, your phone probably turns on or it probably don't or you have boot loops. All of that and more we're gonna fix right now. All right guys, the first order business on the list is that we need to download the drivers. I will put the description in the link below uh, to this uh, site. Uh, and by the way, all credits uh, go to Skeleton1911. Uh, he is just the man, let's get that straight. He was, uh, he's the guy that made this all possible. So the first order of things that you want to do is you want to download this UPro tools. As you can see, I have already downloaded it, so there's no need for me to download it again, but you will click on save and I will click on cancel. Now, what you want to do is uh, you want to go to the folder where you obviously downloaded the file. Now, for me, it's on the downloads. And then I would see it here. This is, this is the UPro tools. It's actually 120 uh, MB big. Once you zipped it out, you will get a folder, UPro, uh, UPro Tools folder. Under the UPro Tools folder, you will have a number of things that you need to install. Um, it doesn't matter which order you install them, just as long as they're installed. You want to make sure that you definitely got this installed. It is a, this is the Qualcomm driver. Without this install, we can't do anything. Once you've installed all the drivers, you want to make sure that you install, of course, the program that we need to flash, and that is the QPST. 2.746. You double click it, you will get a number of files. This is the setup file, the QPST 2.746. Double click that, it will, it will uh, ask you if you want to install it. Of course you want to hit yes. For me, I'm just going to say no. Uh, but for you, everything uh, uh, you heard so far, just keep clicking yes, keep installing it. Um, now, once that is all done, so you have all your drivers installed, you have the QPST uh, tool installed, uh, then we can start uh, with the flashing procedure. Now, you will have a, a program called uh, QFill. I actually have a shortcut to it, uh, but if you want to know, let's close this down. If you want to know where the original QFill pro file program is, I'm just going to right click it. Uh, I'm going to go to properties and then I'm going to go open location so that you can see where it is. Uh, by me, it's on, on C, program files, Qualcomm, QPST, and then in bin. Once you're in bin, you type or you just press the Q and you should see Q fill here. And you can actually drag that to the desktop, whatever you like. Um, I drag mine to the desktop, so I have a shortcut and that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, guys, now that you uh, have the tool installed and you have the drivers installed, then we're pretty much ready to go. But of course, don't forget, you also need the ROM. Um, I'm going to be putting a link into the description below um, to uh, the stock ROM uh, 2018-0423. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to this side or you want to click on the, on the link that I've, I've sent you. You want to uh, click here to start the download. Uh, to which you will get uh, uh, a bunch of different uh, links just now. Um, doesn't matter which one you choose, the whole point of this is that you download the ROM. Once you've downloaded the ROM, then the magic will start. Let's see if the ROM is loaded by me. Pause it for a second, even until it's... Uh... Okay, and here we got all the different mirrors. Now, I live in the Netherlands, so obviously I'm going to choose for primary download Europe Netherlands. I click on that. It should ask me if I want to save it. Now, in this case, you would click save. I'm going to not click save because obviously I've already got the ROM, as you can see, it's right here. So I'm going to click cancel. You're going to click save. And once um, the ROM is completely uh, done with downloading, what you want to do is you want to go to where you put the ROM. Now, in my case, I would most probably uh, my computer. And then I am going to go to, uh, as you can see, very little space, my secure digital storage. And then I have already taken the liberty to zip the uh, file out or the ROM out. And once you zip it out, you should have a folder called Elephone U Pro 2018-0423 stock ROM. You go into it and as you can see, you will have a bunch of different folders. It might be a little bit intimidating, but that is okay guys. Don't worry about that. Just as long as you have it downloaded, that's all we care about. Okay. So let's prepare everything and let's get ready to flash. Okay, what we want to do is we want to start the QFill tool. You start the QFill tool, it should pop up. 
It looks uh, quite intimidating, but guys, again, do not be intimidated. What you want to do is you want to click on flat build. I hope that you guys can see that. If you can, then hear my voice. Flat build, God damn it! Uh, let's see. Um, what you want to do is after you've clicked on flat build, you want to go to browse. And here is where we're going to load the, the, the ROM that we've downloaded. So I'm just going to go to, what is this, Secure Digital, where is my ROM here? LFO and U Pro 2018-04-23 stock. You click it and then it will ask you to open up the prog uh, uh, underscore e, uh, sorry, EMMC. Double click that. As you can see, it's been loaded. And the last part of this is uh, you want to click on Load XML. Once you've clicked on Load XML, it should take you to the exact same folder of the uh, LFO and U Pro and the raw program on Sparse should already be there waiting on you. Now you click it and right away it'll ask you to uh, click on the patch, you do that. And as you can see, everything is loaded here already. Now, if you look at the top here, it says no port available. Um, what you wanna do, now your phone is already dead anyway, so there's, there's not much you can do. What you wanna do, this is the tricky part guys, you wanna have this phone into ED, uh, EDL mode. In order to get this phone into EDL mode, what you wanna do is you wanna keep holding down uh, volume down and uh, volume plus and minus, and you want to hold down the power as soon as you click, as soon as you install this. And you will hear a few chimes on the computer. Do not stop until you see the Qualcomm drivers. So, are we ready guys? And do not forget, hold these buttons in. Uh, oh, you can just do this with one hand, see there? I didn't even think of that until now. Hold these buttons in and then plug this in. But don't do it yet. We're going to count to three and then do all three together. One, two, three. Hold them down, push the cable in. And then you just, I'm um, all shaky, like as if I got outriders, you keep waiting. See, see, see this? Qualcomm HS USB QD Loader 9008. Once you see this, you're in EDL mode and your phone will look like this, of course, dead. It was dead anyways. But make sure that you see this, because if you see something else, it's not good, guys. And the trick is to just keep holding all three. Even if you get something else, keep holding them in, doesn't matter. Eventually, you will see this, okay. So we now we put the phone down. And here is where the magic happens, guys. Um, this was the most difficult part. The easiest part now is clicking on download. So we're gonna click on download. And then, guys, remember, this might take really long to move. If this takes really long to move, it's okay, just wait. It, it, sometimes you might think it's not even working, but it's working. This will all start moving just now. And it will indicate that the flash has started. Look, I can clearly see that the flash has started, even if nothing is happening here. It's okay, do not get discouraged. Just wait. If you need to, you know, scream woosa or grab the back of your ears and whatever, you just wait. Yeah, guys, as you can see, like I said, you have to have just a little bit of patience. It takes a while, but look, the bar is already blue. So that indicates to me that it's moving. No matter what, guys, just wait. It's gonna take a while. I'll be back when it's 100%. All right, guys, if we take a look, as you can see, it's completely done. Um, here it also tells me that it's done. Also, uh, bear in mind that the download fail firehose, uh, firehose, you will always get that error. Uh, so don't worry about it. Once it says finish download, that's what you need to worry about. As you can see, the telephone is uh, still off and I still have USB QDL loader 9008 on the screen. No biggie, what do we do? We disconnect the cable from the telephone, let's see, like this. The phone is still off. How do we get the phone working? You just have to hold the power button in for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Again, keep holding it in until it turns on. And this time, trust me, it will turn on, no boat loops or no nothing. Look, this is already a good sign because the last time I saw this happen was when my phone was working. And all you do is wait. It'll take a few uh, tries, and by a few tries, I mean uh, there will be a good chance that it will see erasing, and then it'll boot again, and it'll encode the telephone uh, for you, and then it's ready to use. All right, guys, look, it's uh, done rebooting, and this is as the final product. So what do we do? Let's go. Um, set up a new phone. You know the usual setup. Skip. Continue. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna skip everything so that you guys can see that it, uh, had the, the ROM has been installed. Skip anyways. More, more, agree. All sets, next, next. And ta-da! Here you have it. The, your, your telephone is working once again. No bull crib. 
Your telephone is working once again, nothing weird. As you can see, all the options are working. And when I go down into system, and about the Elephone U Pro, what do we have here? We have the Android security, April 2018. And then we have the build number of the telephone, like I said, U Pro 2018-0420. And that, guys, is how you bring this phone back to life. Well, guys, uh, I'm glad we got that done. As you saw, it wasn't difficult at all. We got the telephone working. And um, I'm telling you, man, after you're done uh, with this ROM, you're going to see how fast it is and you're gonna appreciate the shit out of your phone again. So thank you for sticking around for as long as you did, and I hope that you come back for the next one. Once again, my name is Anthony Arendelle, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.